Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Ages Kingdom and this topic is very very important for practical part how to monitor growth and development means if the child is gaining the weight and height according to the age or not according to the height or not if you want to monitor it what are the techniques we are using for monitoring of growth and development in this class I am going to discuss this is belongs to third year BSc and uh, second year GNM and even MS Nursing specialty okay so let's have a look how to monitor growth and development and because already i said growth can be always measurable whereas development is not a measurable it can be uh, checked or evaluated with some scales so when we speak about assessment of growth assessment of physical growth can be done by anthropometric measurements and study of velocity of physical growth so measurement of different growth parameters is the importance of nursing responsibility in child care so when we speak about anthropometric measurements the slide itself is you can see anthropometric measurements this is a very important question we are going to check five things in child five anthropometric measurements we are going to check that is uh, height weight uh, head circumference, chest circumference and mid-arm circumference height, weight, head circumference, chest circumference and mid-arm circumference so these are the five things we are going to assess for the growth so let's have a look of first thing weight so weight is one of the best criteria for assessing the child especially regarding the nutritional status so approximately Indian weight According to child weight, approximately it is 2.5 to 3.5 kg of uh, weight at birth and is there about 10% loss of weight in the first week of life and again which regains by 10 days of age. So usually soon after birth due to uh, maladjustment with extra uterine uh, life child may lose certain weight that is 10% of weight may be lose and again that will be regained by 10 days of age so that's the first one and uh, this is the a different method this is called spring weighing machine and this is also comes as a spring weighing machine only we will keep the child uh, hanging in this and we will hang it here so that it will helps to measure um, baby's weight and this method is very useful in the community level in the community level so that's called spring weighing machine and what are the other types of weighing machines are there means you can use infant weighing machine so i think you might be seen in uh, delivery rooms where with infantometer with a meter and weight both will be there and if suppose spring weighing machine is not there or infant weighing machine is not there or distal weighing machine is not there even you can use adult weighing machine also uh, for measuring the weight and then the weight gain is about 25 to 30 grams per day for first three months and 400 grams per month till one year of life so first three months weight is very slow uh, weight gain is very slow that is 25 to 30 grams per day and first three months it is 400 grams per month till one year of life so the infant's weight will be doubled by five months of age and tripled by one year and four times by two years five times by three years six times by five years and seven times by seven years and ten times by ten years this is what the calculation of the weight of gain so by five months it doubles by one year it triples by second year it quadrupled four times by five mm, times in three three years and six times in five years and seven times in seven years so this is what the gaining of weight will be there and this is all about weight measurements in the anthropometric measurement that is height, weight, head circumference and chest circumference and mid-arm circumference and when we speak about length or height of the baby it increases in height indicates uh, skeletal growth so it is usually uh, increased so at birth average length of the healthy Indian newborn baby is 50 cm and it increases to 60 cm at 3 months, 70 cm at 9 months, 75 cm at 1 year of age. In the second year there is a 12 cm increase 
and third year 9 cm, fourth year 7 cm and fifth year 6 cm. So the child double the birth by 4 to 4.5 years of age and afterwards there is about 5 cm increase in every year till onset of puberty. So this is a calculation of height and if you see here this is what we will measure in case of child. So we have to keep the child in flat on surface of the board and we have to keep the image itself as you can see you can keep the feet edges and with one measuring either with a cardboard or with a writing pad we can measure it like this and we can measure with the inch tape after marking and even the headset also we have to use same method and uh, here what we are showing is called as an infantometer this is an easy method where we can keep head and foot straight and measure it and so BMI so it is an important criteria which helps to assess the normal growth or its deviation especially its malnutrition or obesity and when we want to know about BMI weight in cages by height in meters whole square so if you calculate like that then you can able to calculate the BMI and you can see whether the child is malnourished or obese. And BMI remains content up to age of 5 years. And if the BMI is more than 30 kg uh, per meter square, it indicates obesity. And if it is less than 50 kg per meter square, it indicates malnutrition. So according to BMI category, so underweight means less than 18.5. Uh, category and normal weight means 18.5 to 24.9 overweight means 25 to 29.9 obesity means over 30 or greater than that and so far we have discussed about height and weight and next uh, third anthropometric measurement is head circumference so here you can see the image Head circumference how we are measuring it is very very important because whether the child born as a normal healthy individual or it has some defects we need to find out so that's called it as a uh, head circumference you are measuring the head length and this is what so it is related to brain growth and development of intracranial volume and average head circumference measures about 35 centimeters at birth and at 3 months it is 40 cm, at 6 months it is 43 cm, at 1 year it is 45 cm, and 2 years it is 48 cm, at 7 years 50 cm, and at 12 years of age it is about 52 cm, almost same like adult. So this is what the head circumference measurements, usually at birth it is 35 cm. And if a circumference increases more than 1 cm in 2 weeks during the first 3 months of age, then definitely it is an indicator of hydrocephalus. Hydro means water, cephalus means brain, means fluid collected in the brain that can lead to increase in head size. So that's a congenital uh, brain condition, central nervous system condition. So within 1 cm, within 2 weeks, uh, first 3 months, if it is started increasing, then you have to think there may be a problem in head. So head circumference is measured by ordinal tap placing it over the occipital uh, protuberance. So here the image you can see this is an occipital region and in the occipital protuberance to till supraorbital region. You have to measure like this then it, it shows as a head circumference. And it's in this uh, syllabus, so many topics are very, very important. Usually in the head, you can see um, the depression in the anterior portion. For each baby, it will be there. You can see the image, diamond shape, it will be there. So this is called anterior frontonella. The same like of depression, you can see on the posterior frontonella also. So... This fontanella closures. So at birth, anterior and posterior fontanellas are usually present. Posterior fontanella closes early 
few weeks, six to eight weeks. We can say one and a half month to uh, two months, six to eight weeks. Whereas anterior frontonella normally closes by twelve to eighteen months. It, it closes by one and a half year, and and posterior uh, posterior frontonella closes early. That is by one and a half month. And early closure of frontonella indicates that craniostenosis due to premature closure of skull sutures. If early than this, if the sutures are closed, let's call it as a craniostasis. So this is the uh, frontonella looks like. So this is called anterior frontonella, and back side posterior frontonella will be there. So anterior frontonella is in diamond shape. Usually it closes by 12 to 18 months, and posterior uh, uh, posterior frontonella closes by six to eight weeks that means one and a half month it will be closed so that is about uh, head circumference and so far regarding anthropometric measurements or monitoring of growth and development for a child we have discussed height weight and head circumference and the fourth aspect is chest circumference so chest circumference means you can understand how we measure for a blouse or a how you measure for your top that measurement we call it as a chest circumference and it is a thoracic diameter and it's an important parameter of assessment of growth and nutrition status at birth 2 to 3 centimeters less than head circumference it will be at 6 to 12 months of age both become um, equal but that means usually head circumference is 35 centimeters means then chest circumference will be 33 centimeters 2 to 3 centimeters less than head circumference and by one year, both will become equal. After first year of life, chest circumference will be greater than the head circumference by 2.5 centimeters. And by age of five, it is about five centimeters larger than uh, head circumference. Uh, so that is all about chest circumference. You can see the measuring here. So on the mid nipple line, we have to measure the chest circumference. So this can be uh, varied in case of barrel chest or any congenital defects of the chest. This size will be increased. And the fifth anthropometric measurement is mid arm circumference. Mid arm circumference. So here itself you can see image mid arm circumference between the shoulder joint and the elbow joint. We have to measure with inch tape. And in the middle, whatever measurement comes that we call it as a mid arm circumference. So this measurement helps to assess the nutritional status of younger children. Usually mid arm circumference will not be done for infants. First one year of life we will not check. There is a growth due to inadequate nutritional which can be this simple particle and useful measurement. So usually the mid arm circumference at birth is 11 to 12 centimeters. At one year, 12 to 16 centimeters. And at one to five years, it is 16 to 17 centimeters. At 12 years, it is 17 to 18 centimeters. And 15 years, it is 20 to 21 centimeters. So this is all about growth, monitoring, and especially anthropometric measurements. So, anthropometric measurements include height, weight, head circumference, chest circumference and mid arm circumference. So, uh, this is a very very important practical part and if you really like my class, I have given a very very clear information for writing exam and this can be helpful for scoring marks also. And if you really like my class, please do subscribe and share. Thank you for watching.